right, good morning. Let's jump in here for GDXY and GDX. All right, what did we do? Well, we closed up on GDX 0.82, and on GDXY we closed 0.83. All right, so no new trades. The shares stayed the same. They moved money over here to pay out the, what was it, 57 cents? What was GDXY? 57.93, I call it 58 cents. So that was a 38.39. So we got one more day, folks, till payout. We've got trading on 8.7, which is X dividend. So all these shares will go further on sale. And then we have payday. All right, so let's take a look at the weekly. So nothing was added, but how do we shape up? Well, we both moved up in the underlying and in GDX. Um, and we're reasonable, right? 6.65, the big one we have 5.25. So right now with three trading days, I would say it's okay. Again, I'm sort of expecting a run in August that could start at any time, but nothing guarantees that. Um, so let's see, I don't have, let me open up my, sorry, I need to do that in a different screen, my swab, so that I can get real-time stuff. I'll move that over here to my other screen while I'm talking in here and get back on this let think or swim come up while i'm talking to you and just check gold check btc and so forth and tell you what's happening um four hours before market time on wednesday morning okay so we've captured 75 percent uh, this should say of the weeklies that expire on eight nine. So again, when we're not moving up a lot, it's certainly easier to capture what you've got. Let's continue with this. Well, that opens up. I can update you. Let's take a look at what we've got going on over here. Well, it looks like things are down. No, Bitcoin is up a little bit. Gold is up a little bit. Silver is down a hair, but gold's up $2. Uh, let's see, GDX is showing about 21, 23 cents higher right now with four hours. It's showing a 35.64, or sorry, 35.84 by 35.90. So that's good. Most things are showing up. All right, that's what I wanted to see. All right, let's go to holdings. Again, I always say this, but it's so true. So what did we do? We moved in the right direction. So we had a million loss here, right? We had 861 gain, then we went down to a 181 gain, then we went a million loss on that awful Monday, right? Came back some, so we're 824 behind, but we're very close to our synthetic, so that's nothing, right? The synthetic is the 37, 
We just haven't put any trades because shares haven't been bought lately. Uh, we're winning on our weekly 75% that I mentioned from the weekly screen. But you can see we're up, well, I shouldn't say the most, but significantly in this guy. So we collected 155000 We could buy it for 36000 So I'm thinking Wednesday, Thursday, if we're not up to 37 then they should be buying this back if it gets to 90%. Just take it off the table. Um, other than that, uh, now, again, the discrepancy here, right? These are all been worked out. Everything's got the right numbers. We're paid 58 cents, right? So if I come in here and I say equals 18 32 minus, I'll call it 58. I'm going to get the right number. I'm going to get very close to this, right? So within five cents. And that's what you expect. So X dividend day. So this is already because they moved the money out after the market. So when I pick up the holdings and do all the calculations for NAV, that's what I get. And minimum it should be 1774 so we're okay uh, i'd like to see gdx get going and i actually think it will as i said i i think august isn't going to end up being good um but the markets can change that remember as good as gold might be let's say i ran a you know they're obviously going to attack Israel, but the question becomes: with what kind of force? What is Iran? What does uh, Israel do for then a retaliation on their retaliation? And gold typically is a fear trade, so that can move. But if the stock market sells off for fear of U.S. involvement then the gold stocks are stocks first and foremost, and they're associated with gold and the metal secondary. So when we have big drawdowns, like in 2008, where everybody remember the Bear Stearns and the, and the big market sell-off in the fall, well, gold only went down 30%. It went from $1,000 to $700, but the gold stocks went down about 85%. And a lot of stocks went down. We were down 50, 60, you know, very large sell-off. But I, I rem I'll never forget how bad the metal stocks got beat up only to turn around, go up in 2009, and go to all-time highs in both the stocks and the metals in 2011 before it literally topped. And so we're just now getting going. We're probably in the second inning of a nine-inning game with these precious metals and the precious metal stocks. And the stocks are very undervalued still. It just has to find its footing and then start to run. And once it starts to run, then you get FOMO, the same way AI gets FOMO. Then you got a lot of people buying these things. And that's when stocks that don't deserve to go up, go up. And then you have to worry about your in the short term top. But that takes a lot more movement than where we are. So anyway, that that's a little bit of info and a little bit of what I'm used to seeing when these things do start to move. So let's go take a look at payout. Not much here. I told you the price. I showed you the uh, synthetic. Uh, so we didn't earn much. So the reason as I look closer, you know, with it being a new fund, we earned like a dollar forty-three. Well, they paid us eighty cents. So that left sixty cents. And then technically we earn 60 plus 9. So we only earn 69. So I was thinking they'd probably pay 68, something like that. Well, they didn't. They paid 57, call it 58. So they didn't leave a lot on the table. Some of the funds, they left a lot on the table. Some of the funds didn't earn very much at all, and they went ahead and paid the high IV. So it's a very difficult basis for prediction. 
but it's fun. Myself, a few other YouTubers, we enjoy it. Um, you know, nobody takes it serious like, oh, my God, I missed on that. You know, you do the best you can. And, and, and I like to think it's an educated guest, especially with the funds I cover. But I can be just as wrong on the funds I cover as I can be on ones that I, I'm guessing without as much data. It just, at the end of the day, yield maxes management along with their sub-advisors, you know, they make that call. And they're the ones that have to, you know, honor that. I do like the fact that they announce and give everybody an opportunity. As I mentioned, ProShares doesn't operate that way. If you want to buy Bitto, they announce after the market, and so if you didn't buy on that day prior to X dividend, so you don't learn what you're going to be paid until it's already. <clears throat> and that keeps, they already have so many buyers. And, you know, that's why YBIT is based on Bitto because Bitto has so many owners of it. And thus the liquidity pool for their options is massive. Otherwise, Geomax wouldn't be utilizing that. Okay, guys, I think that's what I got for you here. Again, uh, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Have a great day ahead. Okay, see you guys. Bye for now.